Welcome back everyone to another episode from Ampro Engineering. In this episode, we are going to do some surgery on this remote control. It does say Radio Shack Golden Arrow. This is a Nico product, however. Despite the fact that it does say Radio Shack on the back, this controller is made for Radio Shack by Nico. The problem that we're having is this is number three and the vehicle that I want to use it for, my Nico Bison or F10 or whatever you want to call it, is band number four. So the plan is to open this guy up and see if we can switch the crystal. There were four screws, oops, that held this together. So we're going to pull this off and it looks like we have our battery connectors there so we don't want to break that wire. The crystal on this radio is on the other side of this board. It is right in here. So it appears that these two points here need to be unsoldered. We should probably pull the PCB a little further out. So it'll be a little bit tough because there's a lot of wires here and we don't want to damage any of those wires. All right, and there is our crystal. I'm gonna try and fixture this up so that I can unsolder this. We'll use some solder wick to try and sop up some of the solder on the crystal. Right, on this purple wire. All right, it looks like it's pretty, pretty cleared off right now. So we'll take some pliers and very carefully try and move it from the other side here. I think it's actually glued in place too. I see some adhesive on it. But we'll just give it a little wiggle and oh it looks like it's just about to come out it's stuck on this glue All right and there it is so unlike a regular crystal that has much much larger pins this one here has these smaller ones because it's designed to be board mount i happen to have like four or five of these transmitter number four crystals so i'm going to see if the legs are going to fit and I'm fairly certain that the holes are just barely too small. Now I don't want to take a power drill to this so I do have this little tiny drill bit set here and I'm just gonna plop it right there and just very carefully drill in. I'm not actually pushing on it I'm letting it pull itself through. Let's see if that's gonna fit now and just try and push the crystal through. Okay, and that should be fine. I am concerned that these pins are gonna stick out too far and I really don't wanna cut them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is solder them in real fast and just make sure the system works. I'll just apply a little bit of solder. All right, if this doesn't work, it's just gonna make a mess trying to get this thing off. So those are now soldered in place. I think it's going to be possible for us to power the radio up disassembled. So the car has its receiver batteries and we'll turn this on so we do have power there. Let's just turn this on. This is very odd. So we did two things here. We successfully made the car work, but even with the correct radio, which obviously it isn't the correct radio, but the correct style of radio, the pots are reversed. So what I'm thinking we can do is I just want to keep this radio with this car, period. My plan is to think I can actually reverse these. I'm going to try and switch these out because I think it's just a matter of moving this pot to this side and vice versa, and then we'll have something that actually works. Theory is I should be able to remove this entire potentiometer and just switch it over. Now I've done this on a Futaba radio before. In fact, I've done even more work to that. But you'd assume that, oops, for the sake of cost, we want to keep things simple and use the same pieces. So that's what we're going to assume. Now my, my other concern is that the, uh, this will work and the directions are switched. So left is right and right is left or forward and reverse are switched. So I, I, even if we can switch these out, we're not out of the woods. Okay, so that's in. I'm just gonna hold that in there for the time being. I'm gonna thread this in with a single screw. So that's on, the car is. Hmm. That's, oh, that's why. Oh, oh, awesome, 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 awesome. So it is steering in the correct orientation, that's great. 
we only have now you keep moving oh it's moving because it's not installed so now, now the question is the throttle now this should go over here but this wire for the antenna is in the way so let's pull that out and i just realized that is broken that's fantastic oh my gosh what is happening here this is getting more involved than i wanted so we'll lift that out of the way we'll move this because that's in the way and now we have a lot more a lot more play right there and we should probably put this back all right so the car's motor is attached to a battery i have this just kind of floating here because if the throttle's reversed then there's no reason to have screwed it in let's try and prop that in the center all right so this is propped in the center that's turned on let's turn this on like it's going the right direction. Wow. Right, left. I'm kind of blown away here. Let's reassemble the radio and try it again. I'm gonna go ahead and put that number three crystal in the radio right there. We'll just bag it up, you never know. So this is gonna fit, oops, let's uh, reinstall. We'll close that. Okay, cool, the crystal, crystal does fit. Radio is all reassembled now. Let's try this once again. So car, radio's on, car's on. Left, right, go forward please. Go forward please. What just, what's happening? All right, there we go. Wow, we really can do a buyer's guide. I do have to tidy this radio up a little bit. It is not very clean, but uh, we are, wow, we did something. And I just realized that I did have this other radio here. Oh man, I thought it was the same. Shoot, it isn't. I was hoping that the antenna was the same. If anybody knows where I can get a replacement antenna for this, let me know. But I think we can deal with that obstacle. This episode went better than I thought it was going to. We've all now learned a little something that we can do some more Frankenstein work on some of these older cars to get them operational. Hope you enjoyed that video, and we will see you next time.